Yud is good, yud is your boy Sal back here with another video and in this video today we've got to talk about this um and I don't know the right approach to do this uh, and um because it's it is what it is but this is is, is crazy 2k's tweet at the content time was this this is what they said Pick up a discounted Infer Tra Inferno Trace McGrady in the pack market with a fire emoji available until Friday. Now, now let me ask you guys this. What do you see with this? Uh, 35000 for T-Mac, okay. It's unsellable too, though. And that's the thing that really rubs me the wrong way. I get it, right? He's unsellable because otherwise, you know, I actually don't get it. Why is T-Mac unsellable? Meanwhile, here's the thing that really rubs me the wrong way. T-Mac was free two months ago. He was a free card in the game two months ago. And so the fact that you want to release what once was a free card two months ago now for a quote-unquote discounted price when he was free two months ago, how does that make any sense? It doesn't. That's your answer. It absolutely does not make any sense whatsoever. It just, everything right now with this game mode has been so money-hungry and this is another example of it. Like, to get VC, 35,000 VC is, is $10. You guys might be like, oh, well, that's not that bad. $10, it is what it is. You could get the whole Pro Pass for $10. Honestly, that's the way you need to think about it. You could get the whole Pro Pass, which is a Galaxy Opus Zion, a bunch of VC and MT along the way. The Pro Pass is a way better option for you guys than getting this bum T-Mac who 2K wants to re-release in the pack market. I'm just so annoyed at this stage. And like, they want they want this to be the quote unquote content for today. Where's the new spotlight challenges? Where's the new skills challenges that you guys could put, could put out? Where's anything? Instead, we get a rinse and repeat, a copy and paste, uh, uh, something that we had uh, two months ago for free now costs $10. It just rubs me such in the wrong uh, wrong way because I know 2K is going to get some people to buy this. Which, again, is T-Mac a decent shooting guard? Yes. And I know $10 doesn't seem like the, the worst deal in the game. But the way I want you guys to think about it is why would we do that when Peyton Watson's in the game for 20000 MT? I'd go as far as saying Peyton Watson's nearly just as good as Tracy McGrady. I'd go as far as saying that. And, and even if you want to you know, look at here in the All-Star cards, if you want, if you have the MT, just go get Paul George. If you have the MT for this card, he is so much better than Tracy McGrady. And I think that's what really irritates me is T-Max old. Tracy McGrady came out on January 12th. That is a month and a half ago, 2K. A month and a half ago, this card came out and was free in-game. For you guys to have the audacity to drop him for $10 now when he was free two months ago is just so irritating, especially after what we've seen. The past two weeks in my team have been this. We got one good locker code. Outside of that, we got the uh, season five behind a massive paywall with Kobe, with Shaq. Then we got the all-star set with Kareem, LeBron. Everything has been so pay to win since February 16th. In the last two days, or last 10 days, it has been the most pay to win this mode has ever been. And that's exactly what this is. And if, you too, if you're not spending money, 2K does not care about you. It, like, it, it, and it just rubs people in the worst way. And, and I, I get what people are saying, Ty, you just need to stop making videos on this. No, I'm going to continue making videos on how irritating this is for the entire 2K community. And hopefully that 2K changes things. I will not ever, ever, ever buy this. Um, no matter what your account looks like, this is not worth it. I do not care if you've just started the game mode for T-Mac, if you've been playing the game mode. This is one of the worst things you could buy right now for you. Why? It's unsellable. At least if you, let's say, spend money on... And again, I don't want to recommend spend money on packs. I don't think that's worth it. But at least you can sell it. At least if you go through and, let's say, you, know, you buy this all-star set. And even if you don't lock it in, if you bought this set right here... With VC only, I think it costs you, yes, more than $10. But you'd at least get Devin Booker, Anthony Davis, Paul George, Kawhi, all these cards. Plus, you'd be able to sell them back if you did not lock in the set for the Galaxy Open. And that's the other side of this that I want to get to is the unsellable part. Why is he unsellable? Why? At least make this Tracy McGrady sellable. You can sell him for empty and then, oh, what are you going to do with the empty? You tell me. You tell me. 
There's no right way to do things. But I feel like the fact that he is hidden behind this $10 paywall and people, you know, some people are irritated, but other people are like, you know what, Ty, it's not the worst deal. T Max pretty good. Man, we got to realize what's the, 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 the deeper part of this. It's not like, you know, he's in the player market for this price and you can go around and sell him. He is in the pack market. Basically, 2K is trying to make people seem like this is a good deal, when in reality, he's a horrible deal. T-Mac is not worth the, the $10, and I just know there is going to be some people that spend it. And I wouldn't even care if this was included in the pack market if you gave us something else today, guys. Something else. Something else. It's the first day of the new season that's not a Friday, and we have nothing to, nothing to do. Nothing to do. And I know the 2K is like, oh, we well, got all this stuff to grind for. Yeah, let me go get Galaxy up with Chris Middleton. That's super exciting. Let me go grind Salary Cap for, uh, you know, Pink Diamond Lou Hudson. That's really exciting. Like, it just rubs me so wrong The 2K is doing this to the community. It rubs me so wrong. All I can say, guys, do please save your money. Do not. Under any, circumstance, under any circumstance, spend the $10 for Tracy McGrady. He is absolutely not worth it. Tracy McGrady is not a top 10 shooting guard in the game. I, I, Peyton Watson's nearly the exact same level as, as Tracy McGrady. If you want me to go further, I will. I mean, I, I'll name a lot of cards that I think are just as good or that can compete at that type of level because I'm so irritated. Obviously, Peyton Watson is absolutely elite. If you have Kyle Korver, he's nearly just as good as Tracy McGrady. Asar Thompson, if for some reason you have him, just as good. Bochamp can compete at that same type of level. And so that's where I'm at where it's just like, you know what? It's just irritating. It's just so irritating. 2K wants people to go buy this pink dime for, for, for $10 for no reason. I got T-Mac on this account and he's never really played that much for me. And he's not going to. It, it just it, it, It's irritating. It's an unsellable pink diamond that really is totally worthless. That's what you guys need to realize about this Trace McGrady is it's totally worthless. And even if you have decent shooting guards, let's say you have the Kobe and Shaq duo, which you can, if you have the pro pass, I'm going to say this as well. If you have the pro pass at level four, you get this Kobe and Shaq duo. This Kobe with the Shaq is nearly just as good as T-Mac by himself. So that, that that's again, where I'm, what I'm telling you guys is buy the pro pass instead of Tracy McGrady, if that's what it comes down to. Because Tracy McGrady is not worth the uh, the, the 35,000 BC. That's where I'm at with things. I'm beyond irritated with this game mode uh, and where we're at right now. I mean, again, I, I, I'm a content creator, so whatever. I'll uh, stream unlimited and do what I got to do. But when it comes down to it, guys, until, until 2K shows their, you know, uh, better colors, I'm not spending money on this game. I'm not. I refuse to. I refuse to spend money on an all-gambling simulator that they want to drop a guy like T-Mac in the pack market. It's not like they dropped a Kareem, a LeBron, a Giannis in the pack market. It's not like they dropped SJ. Those cards, sure, they need cards in, that are that are somewhat attainable for money. But you know, the fact that they're dropping a, a, a T Mac from a month and a half ago really rubs me the wrong way. So I will not spend money on this game until they they really fix stuff. So as far as pack openings, any of those things, they're done. Like again, even if I do a pack opening with MT, I, I don't even think I'm gonna make a video of it. Like I just don't. I don't have that energy to. Like I might grind. The MT to hopefully next week open packs if that's what they want to do. But it's like it, me spending money on the game is done. And even my motivation for playing the game since cards aren't in the player market is at an all time low. That's why I didn't have any MT last week. And once I get to where I want to get to in Unlimited and do a gameplay with Middleton and hopefully MPJ, I probably won't have the motivation to do anything else either. So that's where I'm at right now. Please save your guys' money. 2K, when are you going to start listening to the community? Just going to wrap it up. Drop a like on the video. This T-Mac sucks. As always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.